Alrighty everyone, welcome to another unboxing of the October Season Pass this time, which is focusing on Agent Venom and the rest of the symbiotes. We're going to start off just looking at the base Agent Venom card, which is the Season Pass card of October. October the 1st, it will be definitely coming out. Whether it stays at its ability and or cost and power, I'm unsure, but we've got a month or two just before then. So let's see how we go. And let's get a rundown of how this season pass is going to look. Alrighty. So first off, we have got Agent Venom. He is on reveal. The set the power of all your cards in your deck to four. His cost is two and a power of four. So there's a few ideas I can quickly just go just based off power here. Just trying to thought. I would say Cerebro 4 is in business now. <laughs> which would go very, very well with the Agent Venom. Smack him down on turn two, all your cards turn to four. Cerebro buffs them. You could possibly put in Captain Marvel, any other cards that move around, Nightcrawler, Jeff, any other cards that are four power and even additional one cost cards, you could really buff them up. Even with the likes of Kazar, Blue Marvel, you got your Zoo Agent Venom deck on the Prowl. You even got a basic zoo deck as well. And I'm looking forward to see how this one turns out, especially mainly zoo meta and also the Cerebro meta, which will be very, very fun. It is unreleased, of course, and uh, we're going to see some variants to see if he does have some right now. Okay, the first variant that he does have, which is the Season Pass variant, is the, what do we call it? Do, 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 do. Generic Remorsed background so oh it's a panned out studio agent venom that looks absolutely gorgeous a two four agent venom loving it i'm looking forward to seeing how this changes the meta in october let's move straight on to the next card which will be another symbiote here she is scream the next card in the october season pass a two one her ability is not on reveal or ongoing she is just a standalone text card which explains when an enemy card moves, steal two power from it once per turn. So I can see this working very well in a Kingpin, Kingpin deck, and I am super happy about another Kingpin meta. I love that card, movement decks and movement stopper decks. So if you steal power from their card, whack it with Kingpin, and you can steal power from that card as well. I am so curious how that's going to work if it's a negative power card, if you move that, like the say of the hood or something that's gone into negative power, if screen still takes power from it, or it gets negated, then it just takes negative power instead. I'm not sure. But if it does take power still from it, even if it's below zero, this is going to be a fantastic card with Kingpin. A huge Kingpin meta deck. Kingpin, Polaris, Spider-Man, Magneto. Oh, th this could really pop off if it works out very well. It's got to watch out for the likes of Professor X's and counter cards, but I'm looking forward to see how Scream turns out in this one. It'll be a very good game changer, especially being just a 2-1. Play Kingpin turn one, play Scream turn two, then you can move Polaris into the middle, move their one cost, bam them twice, Scream gets bigger, and Kingpin gets, destroys the enemy card smaller. Then you've got one lane secured as much as you can. Definitely looking forward to that one. Okay, let's see what type of variant she has. Oh, hello, she's got two variants. Let's look at those real quick. Here we go. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. This is the Panda screen. Oh man, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I definitely want to try and get that one. Try and get another symbiote card. That is fantastic. Let's quickly look at the other one to see what else it's got here. Okay, not too bad. A nice hand in the dark. It's, it's very similar to Carnage Face in this one, but I, I thoroughly like that one. I want to see how this symbiote deck works out in the likes of the Kingpin meta. Let's move on to the next card in the season. Moving on to our next card in October, which releases in October the 8th. She is a 510. On reveal, repeat the on reveal abilities of your other cards here, then destroy them. Okay, so it has a pro and a con at the same time. This is huge if you're playing some other cards in the likes of White Tigers or anything in regards to 
possible iron hearts or anything that goes crazy on the on reveals this will be fantastic the only con with this one is it does not gain its power like venom and it destroys the other cards so this could work and destroy but i'm wondering if it counters venom if it, when venom eats misery that venom gets destroyed afterwards so i'm interested to see how this card turns out in a destroy type of deck in regards to an on reveal type of deck with wong this could be huge if it still eats everything, but procs everything double time to the other locations. So this could be a definitely strong in on reveal decks and destroy decks. I'm looking forward to see how that turns out, especially massive a massive wall deck compared to a destroy venom carnage. You know the classic destroy, especially a five ten power stat line. It is vulnerable to Shang Chi, so. I'm interested to see how this one turns out in the meta of this one. Let's look at her variants real quick. Oh, wow. Okay, these, these are pretty cool. What's this one? This is, oh, the Spotlight Cache Panda. Ooh, not too bad. It's the uh, humanoid version before the symbiote suit takes over. This is absolutely nice. It's got little tentacles out the back as well. Absolutely love it. Love to see how this turns out. Wonderful. What else have we got here real quick? Got a super rare in hike Lee variant. Oh wow, that is actually gorgeous. Whew, that is a beautiful misery. Absolutely love it. Okay, let's move on to our next card. Okay, moving on to Scorn. Scorn's ability is when you discard this, give its power to one of your cards in play, return this to hand with plus one power. So this is going to be a discard symbiote. Another card to the discard this is going to be great i'm looking forward to see how discard goes with this card not only you give plus one power to the field it gets plus one power as well so this could work pretty good even with the likes of meek blade hell cow even the likes of corvus glaive keep discarding this card comes back to hand and everything should be a-okay -okay. this would be a very strong turn sick play actually because if you've discarded everything else in your hand it's similar to the likes of the, let's say, if you use Modok and the Apocalypse combo. You could keep buffing up Scorn. She could easily get to a possible 1.8 to a 1.10. If everything pops off well, you have the Karmataj, everything pops off, you've got a 1.10, then you can easily play the likes of Modok. Then you've got your Dracula, you got your Morbius. You can just keep doing Scorns with the likes of... Uh, what do you call it? The other discard, the, the swar Swarm. You can do Swarms, a lot of Swarms on the field, the Apocalypse combo. This is another another strong card that will go well with discard. I'm looking forward to see how this works, especially in a discard meta. Thoroughly enjoyed to see how this one turns out. You can easily go to turn one, Scorn stays in your hand. Turn two, her name is Colin Wing. I just remembered. <laughs> use Colin Wing, hit Scorn. She gets buffed up once again. Then you can use... Use your normal Lady Sith to get the Apocalypse procs. You can go crazy with adding even the possible the likes of um, the other symbiote, the 510, to do your discards once again. You could even put her the other one in the discard deck. That will be huge, absolutely huge. So I'm looking forward to see how Scorn goes even up to a 110. This is going to be a fantastic card for sure. Let's look at her variants real quick. Oh, man, that is a fantastic panda. It's like an alien symbiote suit. Reminds me of the ones from, um, oh, what's that? XCOM. The XCOM aliens, that exact alien outfit. They're, they're mainly grey, but that purple looks absolutely fantastic. Let's move on to the next one real quick. Oh, now that, that is fantastic. I love the design of that one from Yasmin Putri. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, let's move on to the next card. Okay, moving on to Toxin. On reveal, return your other cards here to your hand, plus two power for each card returned. So you can get this to a max of a 3-8. It is a three-cost beast, two beasts in your deck that are back, and this is going to be huge for bounce. I'm looking forward to see how this one goes. You could even possibly bring back beast with this, Rebounce Toxin back up again, then use Toxin again to bounce up cards once again. Oh, but you 
probably get this up to a 314, even 316 if everything works out well. Using this in the likes of the Kitty Pride, the Angela deck, the Hitmonkey deck, the Sasquatch deck, even the likes of now the new Kate Bishop deck. This will be huge. I'm absolutely loving to see how this one turns out. Get rid of all these ads. And looking forward to see where this goes. Bounce, even possibly destroy. I'd like to see if it works in destroy, but I'm looking forward to seeing how this hugely goes in bounce. So definitely looking forward to see how this one turns out for us. And Toxin's going to be a winner for sure. 3-2 stat line can easily be buffed. So let's see what he holds for the future of October. He releases on October the 22nd, so a bit later on, but that's okay. All right, let's see what uh, variants he has here real quick. Okay, what do we got here? Is this the Panda? Yes, it is. The Panda Toxin. Ooh, that, that looks really cool. Quite liking that one. See what the next one looks like. Oh, my goodness. Is this the kids variant? Let's have a quick look. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's a baby variant. <laughs> and it's got Spider-Man next to him. That's so cute. Very similar to the Venom baby one. That is adorable. All right, let's move on to the next card. Okay, the final card in the series of the symbiote season is Anti-Venom. He is a 4-6. His description is, on reveal, set the cost and power of your deck's top card to zero. Man, this will be an interesting one for sure. It does not delete the ability it just sets the cards cost and power to zero so this could work huge and destroy for carnage venom arnim zola now any cost cards this would go well with dr doom odin silver surfer there's a lot of cards this would go with any i believe almost any deck could, could really buff from this one because it's it is only one card but if the card that you're choosing is the one you want to get, this could really pop off. So it, it, I'd say it's similar to the Mr. Negative, but not similar to Mr. Negative at the same time because it only does one card. But when it pops off, it is great. When it doesn't, it's not too good because if you get like a Nebula, all of a sudden it has not done its job. If you get like a Sunspot or any other card that is completely useless, zero zero doesn't do much. But let's say if you're doing a possible Lockjaw deck, for instance, this could be another card that works out well. You play two cards in the Lockjaw, bam, two cards RNG, everything goes well. Or if you do Jubilee into Lockjaw, get an Anti-Venom out of that, another card comes out and it works out great. It just won't work with big cards that are great, like the Red Hulk, Infinite, or anything like those type of cards. It, it will just be a bit of a disgrace, unfortunately. <laughs> but I reckon it'll be well destroyed on reveal decks and possible ongoing decks i could see this working in an onslaught onslaught living tribunal deck possibly to see how it turns out but uh yeah i'd like to see your guys ideas on the anti-venom and see how it goes from there until then let's move straight on to the variants of anti-venom oh here we go look at this one so see here this is the panda variant and he is looking buff buff and huge and razor sharp claws i'm really loving the design of this one that is fantastic. Oh, what else we got? Okay, we've got an anti-venom jumping from the roof, it looks like, in this skyscraper. I really love this, this night city. Jumping through the night city sky. Mick Miraco Pier Fed Ricky. That's really cool. I love that one too. All right, well, that's all the cards in the season pass. Let's move straight to the variants for October and let's see if they are there at this moment. Okay, as you can see here, this is the Agent Venom Season Pass. First look at the card backs, variants for Venom and Carnage, and the little avatars and the Season Pass variant for Agent Venom. Looks really, really cool. Looking forward to seeing getting these ones. I believe they're the Panda variants too. Man, I'm going to get a lot of Panda this season, it looks like. Woohoo! Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, get rid of all these. Yes, yes, yes. All right, they're the new cards. That's all good. What else we got here? They're the season pass parts. I'll skip over that real quick. What else we got here? I don't think there's any other variants. Oh, except for Storm. There is a Conquest Shop Storm. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And that's about it. Okay. That's about it for the season coming up for the Agent Venom season. 
I'm thoroughly looking forward to this one to see how it shines from there. But until then, guys, that is everything for Agent Venom. I'm thoroughly looking forward to the October season pass. Until then, have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next Marvel Snap video. Peace. Mm -hmm.